Hello people of the internet and this is DJ Da speaking and I am going to do a tutorial that I promised someone I would do. Uh, it's kind of going to be teaching you how to do pretty much a dubstep wobble. That's what he wanted. Uh, he wanted me to show you uh, how to do dubstep wobbles but this is a... Uh, okay this is going to be a bit explained to do right here. I'm going to say this is how I make a dubstep wobble. This isn't how like Skrillex, Excision, Noise Storm, they don't like I don't know if they do it like this because I'm not a music pro. I'm obviously like if you've listened to my stuff I'm pretty noobish. I'm not that good. So a lot of this stuff that I'll be showing you is pretty much from just what I do. So if if you're better than me, please tell me what I'm doing wrong because really I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just showing how I do my stuff. So yeah, so don't say that everything I do is correct because this isn't how it probably should be done. I'm probably doing some things right wrong. Like I think I use a uh, I don't know. Just just look and you'll see what I do. Okay, so. This is basically right here. This is a song I was working on. It's not dubstep, it's drumstep. But really, they're the same thing pretty much, except uh, different drum pretty much. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly just play it here. This is kind of just showing off what I've done recently, and then I'll show you how to do similar stuff. I'm not going to show you how to make each individual synth. I'm just going to show you how to make just... Uh, basically what I would do like how I it's kind of just showing what I would do when I'm starting a brand new song what I would do okay so let's just have a quick listen and actually wait I haven't actually finished this song I only just I haven't spent much time on it so yeah this is nowhere near uh, done so let me just play it from here there's yeah that gap there that I just had there that was supposed to be a um, bass drop but Whatever, let's just listen. Okay, so that was just pretty much what I've been working on. So, yeah, I've got I got that stuff open. I've got all this stuff open on the side. It's what that that's all the stuff I've used. Basically, it's all massive, pretty much, and then some sound effects and that. But like, yeah, that that's not done. That this song ain't done. So don't, yeah, don't be. Oh God, wait, is my recording still going on? I think it just stuffed up. Hang on a sec. Hello, I'm back, and it didn't stuff up. For some reason, Bandicam just told me that it wasn't recording anymore, but it didn't stop. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. Just ignore all that. So, let's start. Okay. What I'd bas basically, I'm just going to get on here. I have, if you click over here, this is basic. This is just view your browser. This is, I've put this in. You don't have to do this. It's just you can... Uh, assuming you'd know in FL Studio, you can just have a uh, other like Windows Explore and just drag song like a uh, sound file and just drop it in here. But I've just organised it so it's all in here. Uh, let me just get uh, what would be a good one. Let's have a listen. I'm just going to chuck that in there. I'm not going to worry on the drums. I just want to get something basic okay so we're just going to chuck that in there and I'm just going to make probably the most basic of basic uh, drum things this is wait so you have 140 tempo that's pretty much what you do for drum uh, wait, why does it, did I say drum step before I mean dubstep that's pretty much what you do and I'm just going to go this is a very very uh, uh, basic yeah drum pattern that you could use. So let's just this 
so yeah, it's it's nothing special. It's pretty bad. But anyway, let's just open up this and let's just uh, open up Massive. Okay, so this is a program you will, a VST you will need to do the stuff that I'm doing, and you it's it doesn't come with FL Studio, so you're gonna have to get it. So, yeah. Okay, so here's FL Studio, and I mean, no, this is massive. What what am I on? I am not concentrating. But anyway, so here we go. We are going to... This is how I'll start off. Okay. So I'm just explaining what I would be doing. So usually, what the first thing I'll do, I'll come over here. And basically, this is all the different sounds. Now, these ones I would generally use a lot. I don't really use these ones, nor do I use those. I usually use those, but not for dubstep. I usually use those for house, electro house, all that kind of stuff. But generally, I use these when I'm doing dubstep. And a very popular one is modern talking, but I don't always use that. So, but let's just let's just click on that. Now we're gonna. I'm just gonna right click on massive and go piano roll. So it's gonna show piano. So if I click on stuff, see it, it makes a sound. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna pick A4. We're going to stretch it out so it goes to there. And if I play the pattern. So it's just that simple. I'm just gonna have that there. So now, if ever I wanna test and see what it sounds like so far, I'll just go play there. Okay, so we have that. Now, I want to, I think I might want to drop the pitch down to minus 12. And when you're dropping down pitches and stuff like that, it's generally advised to uh, do something divisible by 12, because that's I think 12 is uh, an octave. So if you go up and down 12, I don't know. Oh God, what's going on? Ah, go away! What was what was that? Anyway, yeah. So 12 is like I'm not sure if it's an octave or whatever, but generally that's what makes it sound all right. So I'm dropping it down and it sound like this. Now I can edit this to make it sound a bit different. So I'm going to keep it like that for the time being. Now we'll add we'll add more oscillators. So let's have a listen. Let's see this we're going to turn this one on. Now I'm going to come across and I'm going to pick uh, Deep Throat. I'm going to turn this one off just so I can hear what this one sounds like. Okay, it sounds alright. Now I'm thinking dropping this to minus 24. That's just what's coming across in my head. That's what I want to do right now. Okay, but now we can see that is a bit deep. So there's minus 12. Do I right? That's alright. So now let's edit. This is our... Uh, no, what this is, it's, this is based, this kind of just pretty much, it edits, I think it edits the wave or something like that, so let's just move that around. I like it around there, so let's, let's add this on top. Okay, so we have that, now I'm going to open up a new one, now I'm going to pick this, and what's another one that I use sometimes, I think this, no, Chrome's alright. Let's have a listen. Now I like to have uh, some that aren't actually below zero because I find it sounds too deep if it's below zero. So I'm going to add, I'm going to keep this one to minus 12. Let's have a listen. Yeah, that's really bassy. So now let's go back to this one. What if we had this one to 12? No, I don't like that one on 12. So last one, let's try this on 12. Now let's add them together and just test what it sounds like. Okay, that's that's all right. Uh, I'll keep that there. And you can also change these. This is uh, edits some. Yeah, I don't know the technical term, but uh, generally I keep it on spectrum. I would change it sometimes. Like in a new song, I start playing around with that. 
a little bit so but we'll leave to be simple we'll just leave that there okay now here's probably the most important part to follow through with what I'm doing you have to go to the filter one make sure it's turned on now we are going to go to scream now this basically is going to do everything for us and actually we might just this controls how much if it's going to filter one or filter two at the moment it's going equal we want it all to go completely to filter one so that should be cool so now we have this scream now I'm going to, so I'm going to just play what it sounds like I'm just going to keep it there and let's have a listen okay so it sounds like that now listen to what happens when I move it you, it wasn't a very good example but you can hear there's some wobbling going on so we want this to be able to move up and down how we want so what we're going to do is we can do two things we can use an envelope or we can use an LFO now I'm going to show you an LFO, but um, I'm going to explain both of them. An LFO will, if we attach it to this, it's going to go like this. It's going to wobble like a, what I was trying to do, except not doing well, but it's going to wobble like that. Whilst if you have a, an envelope, it'll just do it once. So you might start landing and go wah, and it'll stop. And once that, it's good, that's, I use envelopes a lot, but we're, I'm showing you dubstep wobble, so it'll be wah, 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 instead of wah. You can kind of get what I mean. So uh, envelopes, yeah, you can. If you look at other tutorials, you'll see about that. But for the time being, we're just going to use an LFO. I'm going to use the first one. So now we click on this, and it'll come up for little five. And we're just going to attach it to it. Now, if we scroll this up and down, you'll see it'll stretch across the um, cutoff. So now we're going to stretch it across. And if it hits that, it means it's at the end. It can't go any further. And when it's it now we're gonna I'm gonna change this to a per perfect sine wave so now we've got a perfect sine wave instead of a sine wave and a uh, I guess you call that a saw I don't know what that is but anyway so we have a basic sine wave and now see when it's in this basically this is saying that in the center the cutoff is going to be right there where it is but as it goes up the sine wave goes up it means it'll go towards the green side and then when it gets back to the center it'll be back in the center again and then it'll go down to the gray area and then it comes back up and this will repeat so let's have a quick listen see you heard that it just went wow that would be somewhat what an envelope would sound like except envelopes would do it better but this we have the f although an envelope may make it sound better by doing that to do that we on an LFO we can change the rate so now if I change the rate up this is going to change how quickly it's doing this action so let's have a listen now okay so yeah you can obviously tell that's what like dubstep it's like wow 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 so yeah that's what we are going to do we, we have that there and yeah, you can do an envelope as you, uh, if you want, but we're not going to focus on that. So that's cool. Now we're going to so actually I kind of I forgot about this. Uh, the modulator. This basically just edits each one of these, so you can pick. You can turn this on, and say if we want to change the phase on one of these. Like I might I actually might change the phase of the first one to just a pitch of zero. And don't turn the phase that up. Don't. I don't really know what this is doing, but I know if you have the phase up too much, it really doesn't work. So let's just see what it sounds like now. So yeah, I'm going to keep it on that. I like that. So we'll keep that on there. Now we are going to go first this is the first effects okay now we're going to go through and generally the first effects it has these three whilst the second one won't have these three at the bottom so I generally just test these one out because they these ones out I might just pick the tele tube and you, you don't have to pick them it's just that those are the ones I would usually pick for the first one because as you can see here you do not have an option of picking them 
So I'm just going to pick him from the first one. I put the drive a bit up. When dry and wet. So drive is basically, it's, drive is pretty much editing how it's distorting it. It's distorting it more. Whilst the dry and wet is pretty much switching in between before it was, had the effect on it and after. So if I had it on dry, it's not getting affected at all. If I had it on wet, it's completely getting affected. So I'm going to keep it around here. So I want the drive to be up, but I don't want it to be f affecting it too much. So let's have a listen now. <laughs> So that's too much, let's just edit this around. So yeah, we got that. Actually, I forgot to say something here. Scream, if you control the scream on this scream filter here, you can also change how it sounds like. Let's give it, I'll show you and I'll see which one I reckon is the best part. So yeah, as you can see, the scream kind of, it's pretty much changing the frequency. So if you have it lower down, it'll have a lot of bass. Yet if you put it up, it has a lot of treble and high pitch. So I'm going to keep it around there. That's what I wanted. So I wanted to have a bit more bass than it did originally. Now we're going to go to the second effects. And this is what I pretty much do every single time. Dimension Expander. Uh, now, I generally put the size to off. Like this... Uh, that's what I generally do. I might put it up a little bit, but not much, and put the dry and wet down a bit. So let's have a listen. I might even put it down more. Now I'll show you what happens when the size when I put the size up. So I'm just going to keep the size a little bit above. That's what I'm going to keep it as, because I like that. Now, EQing, we can worry about this in here, but for the sake of it, I'm not really going to worry about EQing until we go, until we attach this to the mixer. And Well, it's in it, but until we do some more effects on it. So now I'm just going to keep it as that. And I'm going to insert something, so I'm turning this on. I'm going to put in a sign shaper. You can put in anything you want, but I'm just going to pick that one because I can. So let's have a listen. So yeah, that one's very basic. So we're just going to keep it like that. And that's pretty much all I do. I wouldn't really worry about an insert too. So, and uh, vibrator. I generally don't touch that because that usually leads to bad stuff when you touch it. Oh god, that was a loud motorbike. Anyway, so generally don't touch vibrato, and generally don't touch noise or feedback. I would generally leave those alone, and stuff up here. I basically only add those. I used to sometimes come into voice and change stuff. This stuff up here, I'd only change sometimes, but not for dubstep. I'll just leave it that. So, now that we've got that, let's just make ourselves a little pattern thing. Now let's go into this. This is but we're going to set this up. We're just going to come in here. We're going to put that effect down, and now we're going to go back to pattern one, and we're going to put that in. Actually, we might grab two of these so that now if we go to song and go play, sounds pretty dreadful, I know. So, but we can fix that in the end. Wait. Let's just, actually I'm going to change the drums, so just hang on a sec. Because I'm too upset with the drums, they're pretty crap. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a listen now. 
It's still horrible. Okay, so don't worry about the drum sides for the. But we'll just listen to this. And now, what we can do? We won't worry about the drums for now. But what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to massive. Now it might be hidden underneath this, so let's move this out of the way. Now we have this. Now we're going to change this. This is changing what effects channel it's going to. We're going to change it to number two. Because generally I keep the first one for side chaining, but we're not worrying about that. So we're just going in here. Now wait, am I still recording? It says I'm not. Hang on a second. I'm going to test again, see if it still is. Oh, Bandicam, you're such a troll. It's always been on. So anyway, yeah, go back to here. So we have this in Effect Channel 2. So now we're going to go in here, and as you'll see, if we listen to the pattern, this went up in here. And this is, we're going to change this. So let's have a, I'm going to put on uh, Maximus. Most people wouldn't want me to do this, but I like Maximus. Now let's have a listen to it now. Okay, that's a bit overwhelming. That's killing my ears with bass. So I'm going to drop down the post a bit. Maybe even the pre a little bit. Because I feel that's overpowering. So let's have a listen. Okay, that's alright. Now, a lot of people say they don't like Maximus. But here's... This is what I think... Listen to it with it and listen to it without. And I just don't see why people don't like it. To me, it sounds heaps better. But anyway, let's not worry about that. Now, I, what I would usually do now is I'll generally... I would test out the phaser. Now let's have a listen to what this sounds like if I put this on. Okay, now that's a bit too much, so let's just drop it down. Okay, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And then you might want to add in some EQing, but really, stuff on here, usually I'll just add the Maximus. That's what I usually put on for everything. Well, not everything, but I'll, well, everything in dubstep I usually put on with Maximus. But, yeah, let's have a um, test out the EQ. So, yeah, now we... That's basically... We're just adding the pitches. The pitches on the right, high pitch. Pitches on the left, or low pitch. Basically, just control how powerful each one is. So, we're going to leave that there. Now, we're going to go into here. So, now you listen to... Now... Here's one thing. Now, this is just going wap 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 wap. That's boring. Because it's just doing the same dubstep wobble. So we're going to change that. We're going to open up the browser. Now what's going to happen is we're going to close we're going to close all that stuff. I'm not going to worry about sound effects. We are going into current project. So it's right here. Now you gotta get this right. You go into generators. Now find the one that you had. This is this one, um, Fruity Wrapper Massive. This is the one I found, but there are different. You could, if you had multiple up, you got to make sure you pick up the right one. Now we're going into it. Now we scroll down and find Modulator Five Rate. We're going to right click on that and go Create Automation Clip. Now what this allows us to do is we'll close the browser. If we go play. So I'm going to just make something right now. If you, you right click to make a new point. Let's just make random points just for the sake of it. Now let's have a listen to what it does now. Okay, so yeah, you can hear what it's doing. So now I might just have a quick test on this. Oh, no. Oops. Okay, put that there. Put this there. I'm going to drop that down. Bring this up a bit. Bring it up. That basically, see how it changes it a little bit? It's like he basically is changing it straight. You right click to make it go back to straight. But we're going to change it to that. And now we're just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut it short in there. Let's just have a listen to what this sounds like now. 
So that's pretty much it. Now let's just see what it sounds like with the drums now. I'm just going to duplicate all this. Okay, so it sounds a bit better. Now what I'm going to do, I'm actually, I wasn't going to show you this, but I'm just going to do it for sake of it. Now I'm going to pick this as a, a, a drum kick that I quite like. It's, uh, as you can see, these are the people who make well, I got these from, so if you're ever wondering how can I get these drum things, just generally Google these names and stuff and you'll find, you, you should be able to find it, so don't complain saying, oh, you're stealing other people's stuff. Well, I'm trying to help him in plus, I don't know how to make my own drums, so if you ever want something from there, just look, look them up. Okay, so now, I like this kick. Generally, that's good for electro, so I'm just going to Plop that up at the top. I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up a new pattern. And no, actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to go this. And I'm going to make sure it hits every single time we have either a kick or a snare. So that was so basically, I'm just putting it wherever the drum beat goes like. Now I'm going to. This is. Wait, this one was a. Change that side. Don't, don't worry about that. So actually, yeah, usually the first thing you have open when you start a new project usually has already gone to mix a track one. But don't, make sure it's not, make sure it's on none. Unless if you want it on something, which I would make the drums on something, like EQing, but we're not worrying about that. So I'm going to put this one, this drum kit um, that I just made, onto Effect Channel 1. Now, in, a, in Insert 1, we are going to go here, and we are going to add a peak controller. Now, what we can do is if we right click, this is the one where it had, see how this is the dubstep wobble. So if we right click on that and go link to controller and click on this and go insert P, insert one peak and change this to invert. And this is on, as you can see, make sure this mute is clicked when you've got this up. Now, if you have a listen, it will be side chain. So if you actually look at this and it'll go down. Actually, wait, I need to change base to 23. Okay, so you'll see this will go down every single time there'll be a kick. Now we can edit that further by um, changing the volume and the tension and the decay. So let's have a listen. So yeah, I, I think you've gathered it by now what exactly I do. So that's pretty much what I do. Usually I'd also make a sec, I'd make a bunch of these massives and basically just coordinate them together to sound alright. So it was a pretty basic tutorial, except sorry if it took a bit long. I was trying to explain as best I could. Because uh, this is a really newbie tutorial. So this is for people that have only just started and are real noobs. Like, yeah, if you've only just started and don't really know what you're doing, if... Yeah, so that's why I went through everything slowly. But if you ever want tutorials in the future a bit more advanced, I'll try not to go so slow and teach you everything. I'll just skip through stuff. 
But anyway, that's it. And thanks for watching and hope you learned some stuff. And if you know how to do this better, please tell me because I want to get better. So please tell me if you have any better ways of doing it. So I'm going to get off right now and play some Minecraft because I can. And anyway, I will see you some other time. Bye-bye.